Jitsi Meet, the privacy respecting video conferencing solution, has kind of shut down anonymous account creation. But while this is alarming, uh, there's definitely some nuance to it, so let's dive into this news. Previously, you just go on there and type a random room name and just create your room and then you just share that link with anyone and it's essentially an anonymous registration. There is no registration. You just go online and anyone can use it. Now, unfortunately, Jitsi has come forward and said they are stopping this process. Um, they're not being very upfront, but trying to read between the lines, it seems like there was some moderation issues. It sounds like some things were being done on the platform or there was some kind of platform abuse that was going on. They're not even allowing you to register with an email and a password and in a, you know, a traditional account creation process. The only way that you can actually use Jitsi Meet now is through Google, GitHub, and Facebook. That's it. It's just those three platforms. And look, I'm actually not totally against some of these single sign-in providers because I think they actually bring a lot of perks to the table in some capacity. They also bring drawbacks in certain capacities as well. It really depends on who you are and what you're looking for, but I don't think they're inherently bad. So just to summarize, Jitsi Meet, which is the main way that people avoid Zoom and interact with Jitsi, has now not only removed anonymous room creations, but they're now requiring you to have a Google, GitHub, or Facebook account. If you don't have those accounts or you don't want to use them, uh, then screw off pretty much. To analyze the situation and give some of my personal feedback here. One, Jitsi is a really great organization. I don't think they're doing this with bad intent. I know everyone in the privacy world wants to jump to everyone doing things for nefarious purposes, but they have a history of really upholding privacy, and if you read their article, they very much sound like they wish they could have kept this anonymous thing open. I don't know what's going on behind the scenes, and they might not be able to tell us what happened behind the scenes. But all I can tell you is, from my perspective, I think they truly care about privacy, otherwise they wouldn't have offered that privacy respecting option in the first place. So we're actually no worse off than we were if they didn't exist in the first place, and so they're still bringing a net gain. And more importantly, they even suggest at the very end to check out other instances that allow anonymous account registration. But you can always just use Signal, and Signal nowadays on desktop has screen sharing, so you can even share your screen with people on Signal, and it supports a ton of people there, and it's entirely free. And shoot, you can even use native tools like FaceTime and whatnot. So um, those are all my options and things that I've played with and that I personally use. <laughs> oh wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> so just to summarize the video, um, thank you Jitsi for developing your software in a way where um, we can properly deal with the situation at hand. Uh, sorry to the community, and I, I'm also upset as well um, that they had to start requiring registration for this. Um, but fortunately, there's a ton of alternatives that we can all utilize uh, to still get away from Zoom and all these other platforms that are privacy invasive.